Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Windsor Brokers Live Daily Market Outlook uh, for uh, Thursday, 13th of December 2012, the day after uh, uh, Fed with the reactions of the market more or less uh, as expected uh, with the reaction of Fed also more or less as, uh, and, and, uh, as expected, although some un unorthodox uh, steps and measurements took by U.S. Uh, Federal Reserves uh, uh, were uh, released and uh, announced uh, yesterday. Basically, the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve announced a new round of uh, monetary stimulus. Uh, also took uh, an unprecedented step uh, of indicating interest rates uh, would remain near zero until the employment uh, falls to at least 6.5%, uh, uh, making uh, another uh, the latest uh, in a series of uh, quite unusual measures uh, taken by central banks around the world uh, to battle uh, the current uh, crisis and uh, sustain the recoveries uh, from the financial crisis and recession uh, that started uh, basically from uh, 2007 and 2009. The Fed expects to hold the rates uh, steady until its uh, new threshold on uh, unemployment was reached as long as inflation does not threaten uh, to break above 2.5% and inflation expectations are contained. It also replaced uh, an expiring stimulus program with a fresh uh, round of uh, uh, Treasury debt uh, purchases. The central bank previously said it uh, expected to hold rates near zero through at least uh, mid-2015, but uh, policymakers were uh, uh, uncomfortable making a pledge based on the calendar uh, rather than the uh, economic uh, goals they hope to achieve. Uh, taking a further monetary a policy more explicitly to economic conditions. Uh, uh, this is the formulation of the policy of uh, uh, guidance uh, that should uh, make uh, U.S. monetary policy more transparent and uh, uh, predictable uh, to the public. Uh, there are words of uh, Fed Chairman uh, Ben Bernanke that uh, he said uh, on the following uh, news uh, conference. Uh, importantly, in the, in the eyes of uh, Fed officials, the new framework should uh, uh, help financial market uh, assess, assess uh, incoming uh, data in a way that uh, helps uh, them better guess uh, where, mon uh, where monetary uh, policy is uh, heading. Uh, right now the Fed is engaged in an open-ended uh, uh, open program of assets purchases which it uh, bolstered uh, yesterday and officials committed to buy uh, 45 billion uh, US dollars in the longer term treasuries each month on top of uh, existing 40 billion per month in mortgage-backed bonds that they started purchasing in September. They repeated the pledge to keep pumping money into the economy until the outlook for the labor market improves substantially. So basically these are, this is the outcome of the Fed's yesterday's release and the, of course market reaction, fresh risk on policy tone actually mode took the uh, Euro close to 131.00 sterling uh, hits uh, 160.170. Of course, the top performer was uh, uh, actually top loser was uh, yen as it uh, reached uh, levels at 83, approximately 83.66 against the uh, US dollar, the high uh, last time seen uh, a long time ago, I would say, uh, sometime in April 2012. Also, the yen uh, depreciated uh, strongly against. Uh, a single currency hitting a fresh low at 109.52. This was the uh, peak seen uh, overnight of uh, the Euro Yen. Also the level uh, last time seen uh, uh, sometime in uh, April approaching its uh, important uh, barriers at uh, 111.42 on uh, Dollar Yen and uh, 84.17 on uh, uh, Euro, uh, pardon, uh, US uh, dollar, Japanese Yen. Uh, dollar Swiss, as uh, we mentioned yesterday, was losing ground. Now finally, uh, brought the bulls, uh, pardon, uh, brought the bears fully in play as uh, the corrective action of uh, uh, previous uh, low at 92.39 that was capped at uh, 93.81 has been completed. Uh, the pair dipped uh, lo as low as uh, 93.40 yesterday, keeping the more uh, focus towards the downside. Uh, the from the commodities, uh, gold is the, on the technical uh, selling of uh, yesterday's fresh high at. Uh, 1723. We mentioned that uh, a break above uh, 1717 is uh, going to open our next barrier at 1722. That has uh, been tested, but uh, uh, profit taking uh, at this point uh, brought the yellow metal price uh, down to 
the levels uh, before below 1700 that uh, again uh, uh, brings uh, more uh, danger into the near term outlook as uh, this might be a signal of uh, end of the corrective action from 1684 base and uh, probably to refocus uh, the later again uh, crude oil uh, holds around 86 above 86 uh, level uh, being pushed uh, by a weaker dollar yesterday to 87 uh, 66 surpassing the important uh, barriers at 87 uh, uh, zone however still a weak tone uh, uh, sees uh, not uh, much prospect uh, towards the upside as long as we are uh, uh, below 88 I would say 88 uh, 50 levels that uh, would provide relief and uh, prevent the pair from uh, uh, pardon prevent the oil price from a further sliding lower a brief look at uh, today's calendar before we move to the technicals <clears throat> Uh, important uh, the, uh, one of the, the key releases is at 8:30 Swiss National Bank uh, uh, monetary uh, policy assessment uh, uh, with the press conference uh, following. Uh, for some reason, we don't have any uh, forecasts here. This is the. If you allow me for a second, uh, just to take a look on the other source. Uh, I guess there is a technical uh, problem uh, with uh, this. Uh, that's the only reason why we are not showing the release the at least the forecast unless there is a complete mistake okay the three month uh, labor rate is uh, for fourth quarter is uh, uh, polls are expected to dip to as low as 0 0.13 percent compared to point uh, 25% uh, percent, uh, current uh, uh, interest rate of the Swiss National Bank and the release is at 8.30 uh, GMT. I do apologize for the small mistake. Uh, for some reason there is no uh, figures. Uh, also the important, uh, more, more important actually data coming from uh, states as uh, Euro doesn't show uh, much of uh, the action uh, today. Uh, core retail, retail says uh, uh, and unemployment uh, claims are uh, the releases at uh, 1330 uh, GMT. Uh, core retail sales for November monthly release are expected, uh, according to the forecast, to dip uh, by 0.1% uh, uh, with the core uh, producer price index expected at 0.2% uh, compared to minus 0.2% in the uh, month of uh, October. New home price index uh, for, uh, pardon, this is Canada. Uh, U.S. unemployment claims are expected to stay unchanged at 300 uh, uh, 70,000 uh, uh, during the past week. Uh, producer price index uh, for November, we were, we were talking about core one. Uh, the producer price index is uh, uh, forecasted minus 0.4%, uh, uh, further uh, decrease from 0.2% in the month of uh, uh, October. And retail sales are expected uh, to uh, show improvement by 0.4% in November compared to draw of uh, minus 0.3% in the month of uh, uh, September. and uh, uh, finally, the capacity, uh, the no, no new home price index from Canada monthly release for October is forecasted at 0.1% uh, versus 0.2% in uh, September. And the Canadian uh, capacity utilization rate for the first quarter uh, shows the decrease uh, forecast is 806 compared to 81% uh, uh, release of uh, the second quarter. And basically, these are the highlights of... Uh, uh, today's economic indicators and uh, not uh, to waste uh, much more time let's move to the uh, technical part that uh, most of you are looking uh, to see what uh, are the forecasts and expectations according to the technicals uh, uh, for today for the major currencies and the commodities as always we start uh, with the euro uh, basically the strong rally of uh, 129 bases extended yesterday on the bounce strong bounce after a Fed's release uh, hitting a uh, 113.96 with this morning's uh, fresh action basically touching a uh, 131.00 with the brief uh, corrective action uh, on overbought uh, uh, hourly studies uh, being contained at uh, 130.55 uh, by ascending a uh, 20 days exponential moving average despite quite extended conditions on the one hour chart uh, four hour uh, charts also indicators are uh, quite uh, extended but uh, still seeing room for a final push uh, through 131 and test of uh, our uh, key barriers and the strong resistances at uh, 131.25 is the 5th of uh, December previous uh, high and then we have two 
uh, tops at uh, 131.70 uh, 17th of uh, September and uh, 131.38 uh, 17th of uh, October with the first uh, two 31.25 and 38 seen uh, as immediate uh, upside target uh, with the daily structure being uh, uh, very positive at this point seeing a uh, potential for uh, today's uh, test above this level. Uh, also the weekly close uh, if it occurs above 131 would be quite uh, supportive uh, for the pair otherwise uh, a failure uh, or immediate uh, attempt uh, higher could uh, result in the further uh, hesitation and they probably uh, pause in the current rally uh, in favor of uh, stronger corrective action. So far as I said technicals are uh, uh, quite uh, supportive uh, for the pair's uh, uh, current action and uh, uh, formation of uh, bullish reversal pattern of uh, three white soldiers as shown on the daily chart uh, basically uh, supports uh, the current uh, action and sees the upside uh, uh, firmly in focus for now. As I said, uh, uh, bulls are uh, quite supported and uh, some uh, hesitation uh, could be seen uh, on uh, at 131.00 as uh, a quite topish uh, hourly structure and a slight loss of momentum uh, could uh, result in a further delay. But overall, uh, positive tone sees uh, uh, bulls firmly in play for a test of uh, 131.25.38 initially and the possible stretch to 131.70 overnight slow at uh, 130.55 now offers initial uh, support while uh, 130.50 130.30 zone is expected uh, reinforced by uh, ascending 55 days exponential moving average is expected uh, to contain any stronger dips in order to keep the uh, immediate uh, bulls uh, firmly in play without uh, uh, delaying uh, with the sterling <coughs> Uh, quite a similar uh, picture on the British pound the following rally from uh, uh, 16000 that uh, uh, <coughs> pardon uh, that uh, retraced uh, we don't have the retracement here we're going to put it now uh, retraced over 61 basically the break above uh, important uh, barrier at uh, 161 uh, 29 27 uh, double top and yesterday's close above this level uh, levels uh, keeps uh, immediate uh, focus at the upside as the pair stretch to as high as uh, 161.70 basically just ahead of uh, our uh, next upside target 161.74, 161.78 peaks of uh, uh, 17th of October and the 1st of uh, November 2012 and uh, this is uh, to open weight towards uh, 162 zo zone our next uh, target uh, 161.94 is the 76.4% uh, Fibonacci retracement and the 162 uh, zero zero is the psychological uh, uh, barrier seen is in the near term uh, focus. Uh, our structure is uh, pardon, we are in the daily. Uh, our structure is uh, now the indicators are in descending in corrective action. I would say uh, of uh, one sixty one seventy high uh, with the one sixty one twenty four the previous highs uh, so far containing dips. However, uh, still descending indicators on the hourly chart uh, do not rule out uh, possible uh, further uh, corrective action uh, below uh, this uh, support zone basically is uh, uh, supported uh, by ascending 55 uh, days uh, exponential uh, moving average and the uh, uh, Fibonacci supports at uh, we are approximately at uh, 160 at 23.6% uh, uh, further easing would face uh, 161 uh, uh, as 38.2 percent retracement and the uh, round figure support and I would say the ideally a reversal should occur at or above uh, 161 in order to keep the immediate uh, uh, bullish structure in play for a possible stretch uh, towards our uh, targets uh, 161 74 78 and then uh, 162 00 any break uh, below uh, 161 and particularly 16094 low, low of uh, uh, yesterday uh, would uh, delay immediate uh, bulls in favor of uh, some stronger corrective action uh, close below one the weekly close below 16100 could be quite uh, uh, risky for the immediate uh, bears as it uh, could uh, trigger a, a stronger uh, pullback and uh, delay immediate uh, rally that is aiming towards uh, 16200 uh, conversely close above uh, uh, 161 uh, uh, 161 that occurred already at uh, 161 uh, 29 uh, uh, 27 uh, weekly close above these levels uh, and probably uh, close to the recent highs uh, could uh, be 
another supportive factor for a fresh extension higher. A four-hour structure uh, holds the positive total reversal on the stochastic uh, again uh, warns of uh, some uh, a stronger corrective action. As we can see, the Paris uh, the price action is currently congested uh, above uh, strong support at uh, 161. Uh, uh, 2030 zone and the gains so far being capped at uh, 161 uh, 50 previous uh, high of uh, yesterday uh, the, yes by the pardon yesterday's intraday high uh, with the more focus again according to the hourly seen uh, uh, towards the downside in the near term with 161 uh, uh, seen as a good reversal point otherwise uh, we might see the further delay in the uh, current uh, bulls and as we said the dollar yen is a top performer yesterday a strong rally extended uh, through the previous uh, uh, range uh, top and the psychological barrier at 8280 and 8300 with uh, 8366 uh, seen so far uh, just ahead of our uh, we can see it on the weekly I think our uh, next uh, target and strong barrier 8408 and 84 uh, uh, 17 March 2012 uh, yearly peaks. Uh, now the overextended uh, conditions, extremely overextended hourly, as well as uh, for our uh, chart uh, situation, uh, could anticipate some uh, stronger uh, corrective action as uh, daily structure is also quite uh, extended uh, with RSI now entering the overbought territory and the MACD being uh, quite uh, uh, stretched. Uh, this is uh, signaling a possible a corrective uh, action that is basically already starting as the pair uh, pulls back from 83.66 uh, currently at 83.46 previous uh, uh, peaks at 83.80 uh, 83.00 and 82.80 are offering uh, a good uh, support and initial support uh, while uh, dips should not exceed in any case of uh, deeper reversal uh, uh, level set uh, 81.90 which is 38.2 percent Fibonacci retracement of rally from uh, uh, 79.06 to 83.66 and of course 81.70 is uh, uh, near term uh, range floor a break below these levels uh, could uh, be signal could be signal uh, for a stronger corrective action of the larger rally from uh, 77.12 to 83.66 so far however a positive tone that dominates is still seen uh, uh, bulls uh, firmly in play with the, any pullback uh, seen as uh, corrective. Of course, loss of uh, potential loss of 8170 could be uh, risky as the, this could uh, trigger some uh, uh, stronger uh, corrective action. Uh, today's uh, expectations are, uh, as uh, we said, uh, corrective uh, pullback. Uh, immediate uh, mild supports are at 8330 and 8310 uh, ahead of a uh, strong one at 8300-8280 and violation of uh, the later uh, is uh, set uh, uh, trigger for some uh, stronger uh, pullback. Currently the price is uh, attacking at uh, uh, 10 days uh, exponential moving average with the dynamic one at 83.30 along with the yesterday's intraday high offering initial uh, uh, support uh, while uh, the, 80, uh, the 55 days exponential moving average underpins the uh, 83.00, 82.80 support and ideally uh, reversal should occur at, uh, at or around the uh, 82.80, 83.00 in order to keep the positive uh, structure in play. As said, the, the pair finally broke above the range that signals extension of uh, uh, the near-term uh, corrective uh, action, consolidative action basically when the pair was uh, entrenched within 81.70 and 83.80, pardon, 82.80 range. Uh, bullish resumption uh, sees uh, focus at the upside and the yearly peaks 84.08 and 84.17 are in near-term focus. And from the currencies, uh, as said, uh, dollar Swiss uh, lost uh, ground completely. I mean, finished the brief uh, corrective action of uh, 82, uh, pardon, 92.39 low of uh, 3rd of December. As we can see on the ADX uh, for our charts, the bears are uh, firmly in play and they're looking for a, a further extension uh, lower uh, with the immediate uh, focus now at uh, 92.39. Brief correction overnight. Uh, was limited uh, by descending uh, 10 days exponential moving average uh, 9270 uh, seeing uh, not much potential uh, uh, for the, any stronger corrective action as uh, the indicators are on the in the negative uh, territory on one and the four hour chart uh, with four hour ones indicating that uh, a possible further stretch lower is uh, quite likely and they uh, will be focusing uh, 
our key support at uh, 9213 low of uh, 17th of October 2012. Uh, basically, this is also the uh, floor of the two months uh, uh, consolidative range of the larger down move from 9970. The range was uh, limited 9213 downside and the 9511 uh, on the upside. Uh, uh, failure to clear uh, this level that also marks 38.2% uh, uh, of the down move from 9972-9213 triggered the fresh weakness uh, uh, with the minor corrective action seen there recently up to 93.69 failing to regain 94 as our initial barrier and subsequent uh, weakness is now testing the lower boundaries of the uh, range of course a uh, break below 93.39 and the 92.13 is uh, uh, to signal the resumption of the uh, downtrend and open the levels at uh, 91, approximately 91.50 uh, and 91.00 uh, seen as the next uh, downside targets. Uh, on the upside, uh, penetration through 93.00, uh, 93.20 previous uh, strong uh, support uh, now acting as resistance uh, reinforced by uh, bearish uh, moving averages crossover of uh, 20 over 55. Uh, this uh, uh, would uh, provide temporary relief and uh, allow for some uh, stronger corrective action. However, anything uh, below 9380-9400 could be still described as uh, a correction and uh, would still keep the downside uh, firmly in uh, focus. Uh, I think gold is uh, more interesting at uh, this point. The technical uh, selling basically triggered uh, some stops also. Uh, of yesterday's uh, target uh, that was reached at 17.20 to 17.23.20 uh, was the highest price seen uh, following uh, Fed's uh, action and the immediate uh, uh, sell-off uh, pushed the yellow metals price through important uh, uh, supports at 17.05 and 17.00 in turn basically the near-term structure into the negative uh, territory as we can see the hourly indicators are uh, well in the negative uh, territory with the four-hour uh, chart uh, uh, attempting uh, currently breaking below the midlines, uh, uh, turning the focus in the near term towards the downside. Basically, all indicators are pointing uh, lower. Uh, that sees uh, focus uh, towards the uh, strong support and the near term base at uh, 1684 at present. As we lost uh, psychological uh, 1700 uh, handle again, and this is threatening basically uh, to complete the corrective action uh, from 1684 to 1722 as uh, the uh, price so far has stalled uh, on approach to 61.8% uh, retracement at 1726 uh, but uh, hitting our initial target at 1722 uh, that's also uh, high of uh, 3rd of December 2012. Uh, daily structure is uh, negative as a part of the larger uh, uh, down move from a uh, yearly peak at 1795 and the lower top at uh, uh, 1752 posted on the uh, end of uh, November, uh, still uh, seeing uh, more focus towards the downside uh, as uh, basically the uh, gains, uh, corrective gains were capped uh, by 90 days uh, uh, moving average that's currently standing at 1715 and the, uh, the upper one, uh, 55 days, one at 1730 is uh, now limiting the downside as it starts to point lower. Uh, in the near term, uh, I would say at this point, uh, more focus seen towards the downside as uh, loss of uh, 1694 uh, would uh, shift uh, focus uh, down towards uh, 1687 is the Fibonacci exp expansion 50% uh, and uh, uh, 1684 is our base. Uh, basically, main risk would be seen on loss of uh, 1684 that uh, might open uh, 1672 previous low of uh, 5th of November, also 61.8% uh, Fibonacci expansion of the uh, down wave from uh, 1752. Uh, Any corrective action uh, requires uh, regain of uh, minimum 1710, where is also the bearish uh, crossover of uh, 2055 days uh, moving averages, and uh, this is uh, putting additional pressure on the pair. Break above 1710 uh, would uh, avert immediate uh, downside risk and uh, probably to uh, shift uh, focus uh, towards the upside. Um, reversal uh, at this point, if we see the uh, reversal at uh, the low where, where is uh, that was posted the overnight at 1694, uh, with regain of 1700, could uh, shift the focus higher. However, the, according to the current uh, situation, the pair is uh, the old gold price is still unable to uh, firmly break above 1700, where the 10 days. Uh, uh, moving average uh, keeps the upside uh, limited. 
uh, we need to see the gain of uh, 17, 17, 10 in order to avert immediate downside risk. Otherwise, uh, likely scenario would be a revisit of uh, 1684 base in the near term as uh, to repeat a negative uh, uh, tone dominates on the one and four hour chart studies and the uh, break below 1694 basically is to confirm the uh, negative structure on the four hour charts. Otherwise, uh, uh, reversal above 1700, uh, 1710 uh, would improve uh, the immediate structure and prevent uh, the pair from uh, prevent the price from uh, sliding to 1684. And finally, uh, the crude oil uh, not uh, much to say because uh, uh, activities are still uh, limited of the oil price following a recent uh, uh, upside rejection at uh, 9031, uh, where the uh, range, uh, pardon, the channel top, uh, uh, channel resistance, pardon, uh, limited the. Uh, recovery and the subsequent easing uh, through the channel uh, support uh, that are shown on the four-hour chart uh, posted uh, marginally fresh high at 85 uh, 20 uh, two days ago. Now corrective action uh, uh, reached yesterday's pack to 8766 uh, that uh, uh, one second that uh, marks approximately a 50 percent uh, retracement of the uh, down leg from 1931 to uh, seven, uh, to 8520 I do apologize uh, but uh, still lacking uh, strength uh, to uh, sustain gains as, gains as a subsequent uh, weakness despite again uh, breaking above uh, what we mentioned uh, yesterday 87 uh, zone and 87 86 77 86 uh, uh, 90 the previous peaks and 87 15 38 point two percent retracement uh, failure to regain the next uh, barrier I think we mentioned 8800 as uh, and the next one and the 87.75 first is the 50% uh, retracement uh, basically turned the uh, fresh uh, weakness uh, as overall picture is still uh, uh, quite negative on the uh, on the crude oil and the uh, lacking momentum for some uh, stronger uh, uh, corrective action uh, currently the price is attacking again the uh, channel uh, support uh, break of which again to refocus our uh, downside targets 85.35 85.20 and the broader weakness again to a look for test of 85.00 as initial and uh, 84.05 as a key uh, downside uh, support. This is low of uh, 7th of November 2012. Any bounce higher now requires a break above uh, 87, uh, what was the high, 87.66 basically 88.00, 88.50 would uh, provide the relief and uh, shift the focus again towards uh, the upside. As we mentioned yesterday's uh, OPEX uh, this decision to uh, reduce the uh, production of oil did not uh, uh, see more seriously impact the current prices uh, uh, while uh, Fed's uh, yesterday's decision uh, with the weaker dollar uh, gave some uh, uh, boost uh, to the oil price but it seems that this was uh, for now according to the current uh, outlook it was uh, short-lived and uh, again more focus is uh, seen towards uh, the downside. Uh, that was all from my side I think I spoke a lot uh, thank you very much uh, uh, questions and answers uh, now if we have any question Euro yen. Okay, uh, this is quite interesting. I was uh, thinking of uh, putting this uh, in our uh, uh, regular analysis as a uh, quite significant action seen on the euro yen uh, uh, in recently and the yesterday's uh, fresh rally uh, basically t hits uh, the levels uh, uh, last time seen uh, in April 2012. Uh, daily. I do apologize. Uh, to see the strength of the current uh, rally, we are looking in the uh, daily chart as uh, the pair uh, rallies towards a recent uh, high at uh, uh, 111.42. This is the third of uh, 
uh, pardon, 18th of uh, um, March, uh, March 2012 high uh, along with the uh, 111.55 uh, uh, from the, from November 2011. Basically, this is the yearly peak a recovery from the yearly low at 94.10. Uh, cleared the uh, 107.33, the last uh, obstacle, uh, 107 and 108.00. Uh, the first one is 76.4% retracement, and the second one is the uh, peak of uh, April 2012 uh, with the 109.50 reached so far, opening way towards uh, uh, 110 and then uh, 111.42 hour uh, peaks. We have uh, 111.12 and 111.42 on the upside, the uh, clearance of 110, of course, uh, to uh, open way towards uh, there. Uh, quite extended uh, conditions on the daily chart, uh, though the indicators are still uh, uh, pointing higher, sees uh, room for further extension uh, towards the upside, while uh, uh, overbought uh, conditions on the one and four hour chart, especially the hourlies that are already uh, showing a sharp reversal of the recent uh, uh, peaks are signaling uh, some uh, corrective action that will precede the fresh rally as yes, the euro overall is uh, quite supported and the broader weakness of uh, Japanese yen keeps uh, the uh, pair uh, well supported. The immediate uh, support uh, now being tested the uh, uh, 108 uh, and 90 zone ahead of uh, 23 point uh, this is also uh, approximately 20 days exponential uh, moving average while uh, uh, 10860 where is the approximately 23.6 percent uh, retracement and the uh, yesterday's uh, intraday low as seen as the next uh, minor support uh, I would say the 10800 zone is offering a quite good uh, uh, barrier this is close to the previous uh, uh, tops of uh, beginning of uh, why we don't do it this way? Uh, 5th of uh, December and the 6th of December peaks as well, close to, as well as uh, close to 38.2% uh, uh, retracement of the rally from uh, uh, 105.96 uh, to 109.52, uh, also reinforced by 55 days exponential moving average, as seen as the uh, ideal uh, reversal point. However, uh, still uh, the four-hour in hour indicators are just uh, starting. Uh, uh, they are descending, uh, leaving uh, some room for further extension uh, lower. Uh, similar with the four-hour chart, yet not uh, confirmation, yet we are still in the overbought territory. Uh, basically, 108 is offering uh, quite uh, good support, uh, while any violation of the downside uh, uh, levels uh, below 107, uh, 106.80 could uh, uh, delay immediate uh, bullish structure and uh, uh, open way for some stronger corrective action. Otherwise, uh, as we said, uh, reversal above a 108 uh, uh, would keep the bulls uh, for a test of uh, 110 and then 111, 111, 42 our upside targets. Uh, do we have any further question or we can uh, conclude uh, today's session? No? Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, being with us. Uh, we are back tomorrow morning at the same time at 8.00 uh, GMT. Tomorrow is uh, Friday, the last day of the week. Uh, I wish you a nice uh, day today on Thursday and of course uh, a lot of success and uh, profit in your uh, trading. Good luck.